Britain Greener US basketball star jailed for nine years on drug charges. As Greener 31 was being led out of the courtroom in handcuffs, she was heard saying, I love my family. The double Olympic winner has admitted possessing cannabis oil but told the court she had made an honest mistake. The court near Moscow convicted her of smuggling and possessing can. Nalotics, the prosecution had sought a nine and a half year jail term. Reading the verdict on Thursday, the preceding judge said she had taken into account the fact that the American had already spent a considerable time in detention. Greener's defense lawyer Maria Bragovolina said her client was very upset, very stressed. She can hardly talk. It's a difficult time for her. When we saw Brittany on Tuesday, we told her, see you on Thursday. She said, see you on doomsday. So it looks like she was right. The defense team said they would appeal against the verdict. Greener, who is considered one of the best players in the world, was detained in February at an airport near Moscow when vape cartridges containing cannabis oil were found in her luggage. She had come to Russia to play club basketball during the U.S. off-season. Soon after, Russia invaded Ukraine and her case had, has become subject to high-profile diplomacy between the U.S. and Russia. U.S. President Joe Biden called the sentencing unacceptable. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Brinken said, Russia and any country engaging in wrongful detention represent a threat to the safety of everyone traveling, working, and living abroad. It is unclear how long she will actually spend behind bars as the U.S. and Russia had been discussing a, pot a potential prisoner swap that could involve the basketball player. Reports in U.S. media suggest imprisoned Russian arms trafficker Victor, known as a merchant of death, could be transferred by Washington to the Russian authorities as part of the deal. Speaking after her sentencing, White House National Security Spokesman John urged Russia to accept the serious proposal offered by the U.S. for Greener and fellow detained U.S. citizen Paul Weiron. It's a serious proposal. We urge them to accept it. They should have accepted it weeks ago when we first made it, Mr. Kibley said. After the court had closing arguments, Greener said, I made an honest mistake and I hope in your ruling it does not end my life. I did not conspire or plan to commit this crime, she said. She added. Greener also said, she had received neither an explanation of her rights nor access to a lawyer in the initial hours of her detention and that she had to use translation app on her phone to communicate. Thank you so much for watching. Hours it takes to get some power. Don't be fing sour. Take a cold shower. Scream until you're louder. Work until you're prouder. And f all the doubters. They're just yuck downers.